I'm 64 but have high blood pressure and am obese when should I be able to get a vaccine? I live in Texas. The doctor can help. Just a couple quick questions before I transfer you. How long have you had obese? Have you used any medication for it? Yes, I have used medication and even has gastric bypass surgery. But the obesity persists. Have you seen a doctor about obesity? Yes. Anything else in your medical history you think the doctor should know? No, oh, I am also bipolar and am on meds for that. Hi, welcome to Just Answer. This is Dr. Din, medical specialist. I'm here to help you with your query. I am sorry to hear that. I understand your concern. Answers on Just Answer are only for general information purposes. Please don't be bothered by the phone calls as these are auto-generated by the system. We can chat or text instead. I'm reviewing your question now, and will respond to you shortly. Frontline healthcare workers and residents at long-term care facilities, called Phase 1A, plus people over 65 or with a chronic medical condition that puts them at increased risk for severe illness from COVID-19, called Phase 1B, are currently eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. Phase 1B recipients include, people 65 years of age and older people 16 years of age and older with at least one chronic medical condition that puts them at increased risk for severe illness from the virus that causes COVID-19, such as but not limited to, cancer chronic kidney disease COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, Down syndrome heart conditions, such as heart failure, coronary artery disease or cardiomyopathy solid organ transplantation obesity and severe obesity, body mass index of 30 kg M2 or higher, pregnancy sickle cell disease type 2 diabetes mellitus. What is your weight and height? If you are in phase 1A or 1B, you have two options to get the vaccine, you can get vaccinated at a large vaccine hub or a local vaccine provider. Beginning in January, Texas established large vaccination sites or hubs around the state. The goal of these hubs is to provide more people the vaccine and a simpler way to sign up for an appointment. Please check the COVID-19 vaccination hub providers page to find a hub near you and learn how to register. Remember, vaccine supply is still limited in Texas, even though more arrives each week. Please note, do not show up at a vaccine hub without first signing up or checking the provider's instructions for scheduling. Hub providers may already have long waiting lists or may be no longer accepting appointments for the week. Each hub's registration process is different so look carefully at the hub's registration site for details. Depending on the provider, you may be placed on a waiting list and or may be contacted, phone, email, or text, when vaccines become available. Another option is to check with a vaccine provider near you. Local vaccine providers, like pharmacies, may have vaccine available. Use the Texas COVID-19 vaccine availability map to find a provider near you with vaccine available. Check the provider's website for how to best sign up for a vaccine. Remember, do not show up at a hospital or clinic looking for vaccine. Instead, please check their website for information about vaccine availability and or a wait list. Call only if the website doesn't answer your questions. Thank you for your patience as Texas receives more vaccine every week. Please click the link below. 
This will show you a list of vaccine providers in Texas where you can register and book an appointment through their websites. https colon slash www.dshs.state.tx.us slash coronavirus slash immunize slash vaccine hubs.asps. Thank you for trusting Just Answer with your question. If you have additional concerns, please let me know. All the best. I am 4 feet 10 inches and weigh 195 pounds. Your body mass index is greater than 30, so you are eligible for the vaccine. If you have a health question and want to chat with a doctor now visit justanswer.com slash yt health.